Ah uh, yes, the office siren. Who even is she? What does she do? Well, I personally would never know because I don't ever dream of corporate labor. Also because I'm a student who's never ever stepped foot in a corporate office in my life. But you know what? A girl loves a good corporate girly cosplay and a girl loves a good aesthetic. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of outfits that fit into the office siren aesthetic that also fit into the things in my closet because I don't want to buy new things just to fit a new aesthetic. Before we start, we obviously have to discuss what the office siren is aesthetic actually is. In true office PowerPoint presentation pitch deck style, I present to you what the office siren actually is. The office siren or geek chic or corporate core or business casual for hot girls as you've probably seen everywhere. It's essentially the 90s to early 2000s hot secretary look. Or at least that's how I would like to explain it. I think the main thing that characterizes this aesthetic is the small rectangular framed glasses that people call bayonetta glasses but right now i just want to rapid fire name some pieces that exude the office siren aesthetic so that you guys can get a general idea of what i'm thinking about and we can all be on the same page based on my research the office siren aesthetic is characterized by as i mentioned small eyeglasses sleek shoes like mary jane's boots kitten heels and sleek loafers stockings or visible socks chunky but basic jewelry like chunky earrings bangles and watches turtleneck or mock neck tops or just any high neck tops in general low-waisted and or flared pants, low-waisted mini to midi skirts, pencil skirts, tight-fitting tops, both neck tops, and off-shoulder tops. As for the general vibe, the general aura, I think that most of the people with this vibe on Pinterest have a slick back bun on with those messy little hair strands, 90s soft matte glam makeup, thin-ish brows, and of course, optionally for that maximum early 2000s look, a 2000s frosty eye look. Some more details and clothes that I think exude this vibe are lace details, pinstripes, the colors brown, gray, black, cream, white, and burgundy, and tortoiseshell for that added texture. Okay, I forgot to introduce myself. I Hi, my name is Alyssa Leanne. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope this email finds you well. Nice to meet you. I've been MIA on YouTube for the past month, but I think I've regrouped. I've found my vibe, and today I'm back. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, follow me on my socials. But anyway, back to the video. I think that this outfit would pass as an office siren outfit because the rules aren't really that strict. Arguably, as long as you're wearing glasses, in a neutral 90s outfit, you would fit the vibe. I know that the main thing making the office siren aesthetic, the office siren aesthetic, are the glasses. I don't think they look that fashionable on me. For the purpose of this video, I'm choosing to just go with the outfits without the glasses. And I don't think that the office siren aesthetic necessarily means that the outfits fit into a regular office dress code, but to make it more dress code appropriate, more office-y. I'm gonna be switching out this skirt to these pants. I've also changed a couple of other details in the outfit. I'm wearing a ludicrously capacious tote bag because I feel like that's what an office girly would do, right? I wouldn't know, really. I feel like an office hired would fully show up to work in a mini bag. So here's the outfit with the mini bag. I do think it's a lot cuter. And ask yourself, what would the office siren do? I think she would do this. So this is what we're rolling with for now. I also changed my shoes from the Mary Janes to these little bags leather kitten heels because I feel like it fits the office siren aesthetic better and I've also changed my earrings from those pearl earrings to these chunky gold hoops. Very simple, obviously not completely exuding that Pinterest vibe because I'm obviously lacking the hair and the aura and, and the eyeglasses but the outfit itself, I think that this fits the vibe. This is the next outfit with the aesthetic. We see a lot of high neck tops and boat neck tops. I feel like boat neck is the highest neck I would go like any higher than this and it would fully look like I was wearing a neck brace. Office Siren would pair this with the early 2000s style pencil skirts that teachers wear. But me personally, I am not purchasing that skirt just for this aesthetic. So I'm sticking to my little satin midi skirts. I think these look best. The most classic, the pencil skirts just look a little too teachery for me right now. So here is my more realistic, more wearable outfit for my personal style. I'm cutting it very, very close to English teacher territory here, but I think this bag is keeping me youthful. I'm also wearing these pointed toe heels that I've loved so dearly. Um, they look a little beat up, which I think really help with that teacher look. Watch the footage back of the previous outfit and tell me why I fully look like a trad wife in that outfit. So we're bringing back the black trousers. I think the black trousers look best with this outfit because I feel like the high neck with the really modest looking skirt was just a little bit too much for me. I just wasn't feeling like myself anymore. The black trousers, the patent heels from earlier, and of course, a red bag for that trendy little pop of color. I don't think burgundy or the color red is a trend at all. I personally 
personally would argue that it's a classic, but I think it's pretty trendy and pretty hot right now. So I would call it trendy, but to me, it's a classic. It's a forever thing. I feel like this outfit is as office siren as it gets. Like the off shoulder, the sleek pants, if only these were flared, the little boots, which I have a secret. Um, these aren't just ankle boots. These are fully knee-high boots that I just tuck into trousers because why would I buy ankle boots if I have knee-high boots that I could just tuck into trousers, right? You get my logic. The small bag that fits nothing that you would possibly need for work and the big earrings. It checks every single box. The color scheme is also very much office siren with the grays, which I think is the most office color ever. Like when you think of an office, what color do you think of? If you're a normal person, then probably gray. My legs are getting kind of warm because there's like two layers of like leather and fabric. So maybe not. Same outfit, just arguably a lot less office friendly, but I think this is really cute and it is really similar to a bunch of the outfits I saw on Pinterest with like that office siren vibe. I think this skirt by itself could be paired with like a long sleeve tight top and it would also give off office siren vibes and like you could add a belt to this. Very versatile, very gray again, very office-y and I think it's really cute. For a more office-y vibe, maybe I would go with like a black tote and loafers but since we're going the stylish route today, this is the outfit I've come up with and I think it's really cute. Although, I would say that my range of motion is very very restricted with this top like can't do anything without it going up that's the problem but besides that i think it's a good outfit yes i did say that turtlenecks do give off neck brace vibes and i stand by that opinion but it genuinely really is a big part of this aesthetic and i think that this is a way i would wear it i would wear it with really sleek pieces it's a different silhouette for me that i'm not used to seeing on myself and i feel like i look like i am wearing a neck brace i wore this outfit on new year this year and I really liked it. I feel like it was a really good outfit to start the year off with and I feel like it does have that office siren type vibe. I feel like out of all of the outfits in this video, this is probably the most office appropriate one. So if you're Watching this video for the office inspo, this is as office as it gets. A huge part of the office siren aesthetic is definitely the really tight button downs. I don't own any really tight button downs. I'm still not over my oversized button down face, so I don't own any. I'm just trying to work with what I have here by using this mesh button down that I've, I got like a few years ago to kind of substitute for the really tight button down look in this aesthetic. I'm just wearing it with a bodysuit underneath. I think that if I even cinch this in like this, it would fit the vibe better. And I don't think this outfit fits the vibe perfectly, but for someone who doesn't have a really tight button down, <laughs> it's the best I could do. It does look like a part of me is going to the club and a part of me is going to the office. Office? No. Siren? Maybe. Possibly. Something I love about the office siren corporate core aesthetic is that it's anything you want it to be. As long as it has that slight corporate vibe. In this outfit, I think that the corporate piece, I would say, is this mini skirt. I feel like to get that cool 2000s hot secretary vibe, you should go more low-waisted than this. But this is the skirt I have and I think this fits my style the best anyway. So this is the corporate piece. It's a skirt, so it's like shorts in the back and it looks like trouser shorts so i think that's pretty corporate to me i think that the office siren girlies are just capsule wardrobe girlies in hot girl disguise a big thing i see in a lot of the office siren outfits are the off shoulder slash asymmetric tops like this that kind of show your shape i know that this one isn't super figure hugging but i do think it checks all the boxes in terms of the silhouette being asymmetrical and being off the shoulder it's more interesting than your basic office top i think that you can wear this top with pretty much any pair of trousers and pretty much any pair of basic shoes and it would look really good. See, it's really giving capsule wardrobe. This is definitely my favorite look because you can pair it with so many different things. And again, back with the pop of red. I'm wearing red shoes as well. They match. So yes, that's that to like break up how emo it is. It kind of looks like a dress, which I really, really love as well. And to get that more office siren vibe, you can wear it with like a micro mini skirt or a pencil skirt, not this skirt. Again, I feel like this skirt doesn't fit the aesthetic, but it fits my aesthetic. So yeah. Yeah. Hear me out. This last outfit is arguably the least office siren outfit in this video. But I wanted to experiment with that whole vibe of the bralette with the mini skirt with the big blazer. Like these photos right here. I know that in the photos they used like lace camis or lace bralettes which adds the whole hot secretary vibe. But that's just not my vibe personally. I don't really like lace details in clothes that much. So I'm going with like a plain bralette, a pair of shorts, and this big blazer plus these loafers and the whole combo just makes me look like a little schoolboy that 
just didn't get fully dressed. But like overall, I feel like what makes an outfit off a siren is really the hair, the glasses, the makeup, the overall aura more than the outfits. The outfits are an additional factor and the outfits are what I really fell in love with. At the end of the day, when it comes to aesthetics, I think you should just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And that's that on that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, turn on my post notifications so you know when I post because who knows when I'll post again. Follow me on Instagram at Alyssa Leanne and on TikTok at Lisa's Vids because I'm way 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 more active on there especially on TikTok so check me out on there thank you so much for watching and sticking till the end bye also say hi to my smisky